What you guys don't see of Eden, he can be quite manic. No way. Trust me on that. Um, we're telling you, we played the song Wait by White Lion because uh, we might have to push off marriage boot camp talk. Um, Christine pulled up so much work. fucking computer yeah, shit. I feel terrible. They came, we, we have them. They came up. It's just the first couple went away, so we can do this. Let's what do, do we have? Well, let me explain to you where Jacob and I are at with marriage boot camp, and that is, as the saying goes in Shark Tank, we're out. It, it's it, it's there's an allergic reaction. It makes both of us sick. There's a lot going on. You guys are missing out on. Are you? I know, but DJ here's Lo? the thing. Here's the thing. That Jacob and I feel comfortable enough with you and Christine and the other crew members watching it that you can give us notes and fill us in on what's happening, and we can still give our opinion because we understand the basis of it. Dan, you should teach a class in open air manipulation. <laughs> the way you do it is does not hold. This was the, hey, why don't you say the thing that's going to get people upset? And I'll always play like that. Eh, no, no, no. Like the whole it. thing is, is it's such a fucking bummer that I'm watching it. And I'm just like, I just fucking don't like watching this. I don't enjoy watching it. The but patients then there, are fucked up, and then the doctors the do doc- more damage. Yeah. So I can't stand watching it. Um, but, it but it's also. I don't believe in the process. There are three <laughs> moments usually. There's usually three moments in a show where I'm like, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's a, but most of the time it's with my teeth clenched that I'm like, this is fucking awful. Well, I'll fast forward through a real like nonsensical part. I have no problems with that. So you fast forward. I should learn how to do that, but I'm afraid I'm going to miss the thing that we're going to talk about. For the most part, here's the thing. If it's just like the Bellinos and you know the girl and her mom, like they're doing a personal set, like the, their earthquake session, I didn't see. I didn't all. I watched the, all the earthquakes. Oh, see, I only watched uh, Aaron Carter and Corey Feldman. You got to learn how to treat. You can't treat, put yourself through all that. That's well. I think that's what that's what I thought you guys were doing. The shit was making me fucking sick. I don't know what the Govans are going through. I, I know all of the Govans. Or maybe I think he did apologize. I love this week. Michael, so I go in hard. And yeah, Michael Michael. apologized. She said, "You're my hero," and they had their old teary moment. It's all about you. Got to get to the fell dog, man. You got to get those apologies. What do we have so first? For from here on out, do we just watch Marriage Boot Camp? Just the fell dog highlights? No, no. I'll bring it to you. I don't have a problem with it. You know, I don't want to force you. I don't want you to feel it. like being, being manipulated. I watch the show because I enjoy watching this guy. Just uh, I, I, there's moments every week at this point. There's a moment where I go, "Damn, dude!" Like Corey Feldman's like fucked up, dude. Like it's it's really not his fault. And then there's like, no, these now his adult personality is his fault. Do you know what I mean? Probably my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. That's when everybody lets their guard down. Oh, here's your fam. Let's go. Discuss what family means to you. Um, so family to me. Hold on. For me, family is the people that you care about and love the most and the people that you can trust and rely on the most. So let's go to marriage boot camp. What do we got here, Christine? Where are we at? Okay, so this is, um, there. there's some fun things that they say. This is Corey and his ego, mainly. Because remember, we left off and he had locked himself in the bathroom. Of course. Yes. Dr. V and Dr. Ish just getting it in on the balcony. The halfway point. I'll and tell you what, Mama things. Bellino's got a body, too. She does. For an old lady? She's got those fake titties. She can get it. While Aaron and some of his housemates contemplate the Feldman's dedication to the process, Corey is also grappling with his presence in the house. I'm sitting here praying for the strength to deal with this. Praying for the strength to stand up for myself. All right, good I came here to work on my relationship with my mother. Right. So That's if true. I say right. something that somebody doesn't like, we well, that, guess though. what? You don't have to be right. Yeah. Hey, what's up? You guys talking about me? You guys talking about how much Ascension Millennium jams? What's up? You guys talking about my hot wife? Oh my god, dude. He's got new music out. We already covered it. <sighs> we already covered this, buddy. Remember you having that revelation because it already happened yesterday. Yeah, flip it around Mark. It happened, yeah, yeah, flip it around Mark. <laughs> flip it around Mark. What do you think about it? He goes, I think we already did oh, it. Oh, that voice goes like this. Hey, you got to flip it around. <laughs> flip it, flap. Okay, this is guessing a character. <laughs> guessing a character that you riffed. You got to flip it and then flap it. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Oops. You sound like no my sound. mom playing Minefield. <laughs> What's up, Dick Noodles? Hey, this is what's a up? Of dick. Alphas, yeah, everybody. I came here to work on your relationship with your mom, too. What's up? Pancakes? You gonna finish that bacon? I'll take it. Hey, did you cut it off your mom? I'm still coming with your mom, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Good morning. Corey and Courtney. Morning. So what do you think's in store for us today? Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty. That was uh, nice. 
Whatever it is will be a way to blame me. So don't worry about it. I'm no. Sure. So, so you think in 9-11? Something I did So you think in like 9-11? No, you've had to turn joke. now. You've been humiliated. So every day. it's time to move on. All right. I'm sorry. I just, when every single day I try to change and modify based on their suggestions and then I keep hitting a wall, I get to the point where I shut down. Dude, I get it. I'd just be kissing Corey's ass. I'd be across the table and go, you know what, Corey? I get that. I felt that way. So you, dude. Dr. Ish sucks, right? I shut off emotionally. I go, dude, lock it down, Corey. Got it. So he basically, he just puts on a display of him being a fucking prick. And they do a thing where one person from the group has to, on a bullhorn, like in the middle of the lake, uh, direct them to the person. You know, you have to like, they come here, you're trying to get me to come to you, basically, and sure. I'm blindfolded in a kayak. So with... The Govons and the Feldmans, because there's three of them, mm-hmm. they have to put two people in the boat blindfolded, and can they work together? So it's blindfolded Corey Feldman and Eden <sighs> rowing a boat together. Nice. It is pretty ridiculous. Well, they they end up just like giving up and going they back. Quit. It's where this clip is where Courtney talks back a little. Ooh. Oh, she gets a little snippy. Yeah. Mangel, get a little snip, snip, snip. All right. Snip, snip. Bye. Ain't happening. We're done. Never one for teamwork. Corey bails on working with his brother and saving his wife. Looks like I'm wrapped up the mind, so I didn't got time for this. This is just not yeah. what we needed to do was all work together. But we weren't doing that. Feldman, what's going on down there? We forfeit! Ask for some help, guys. Come on, figure it out. Ain't happening. We're done. I don't like losing. I'm a quitter. However, Corey was right. We were definitely going in circles. Pussies. This is their dynamic. Mm-hmm. They look to Corey for the emotional leadership, yeah. but he's not capable. Yeah, he's incapable. We're the number one most dysfunctional family. Yay. Oh, she gets mad at the way he rode. That's right. Embarrass ourselves. I figured the best way was to get out of there in one piece and not start killing each other over it. So this is how you paddle. You dig it in. Oh, and then yes. Burn. In. You're in the circle. You have to stay in the circle. That's the way I was taught. He goes, I don't, I, he's, like, he's like, you were raised in Los Angeles, and I was like, I was raised as a fucking hillbilly. And she goes, I had to paddle for water and food every day. He goes, <laughs> well, I was actually in row team at, at Harvard. Actually, I was in the skulls part four. So <laughs> we rowed. Let's just say we rowed. I know how to row. He's also got way too many zippers on his shirt. I like it, though. He's probably got a bunch of documents in there. <laughs> what do you think's in there? <laughs> Sensitive information? He was my social security, my birth certificate. No, oh, hang on. Paul's uncomfortable. Just got a little chewy in the room for him. Whoa. Mm. He doesn't like, when he likes mm. the, what Paul doesn't like when the tide turns. Mm. No, I'm not that he's a Milwaukee fan. Yeah, Milwaukee. You know what the Milwaukee people like? Beer. No. He's murdering gay twinks in hotels, dude, and putting them in tubs. What? Jeffrey Dahmer, man. Oh, wow. I didn't know he was Milwaukee. Come on, man. Another one, pal. You know what? Another one. Go lay them up, man. You know what? Go lay them up. I can still kick your ass, yeah. though. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Bring Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the way I was taught. That you always keep it in, like, a round. Awesome. But it wasn't working, was it? Yeah, yeah, she's Ooh. getting like the. She goes, I'm going to eat your shit. Yeah, she goes, You're going to get extra things in your butt tonight. She goes, I want to fuck more than the norm. And he goes, Okay. I mean, pack it pretty tight. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Are you sure that's going to fit in the overhead? <laughs> I mean, you might have to check into the destination. No <laughs> <Yeah>. charge. <laughs> How about if we in airports? Yeah, yeah, yes. If you're in group four, we don't give a fuck about your luggage. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to throw it in a bin on the roof of the thing. We're going to tie it to a string and make, it, and make the airplane drag it there. <laughs> <laughs> luggage dangling off a plane. It's just like a fucking line of luggage. You can see yours going, ah, that yeah. was mine. <laughs> Son of a bitch, that one was mine. Had the yellow, yeah, that yellow tag one was mine. Come on, Son of a rope bitch. seems pretty strong, right? Yeah. You think it's gonna hold you back to a, the airplane? Wing? You're in the airplane watching. You go, not a square knot, not a square knot, <laughs> not a square knot. You need that. That's some bitch gonna come loose. No, 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 no. Come on. That's the way I was taught. That you always keep it in like a round. Ooh. But the point is, is it wasn't working because every time I'd get us going straight, he would start going in a circle. 
Did she say mic drop? Well, no, no, no. He actually goes, I, I was always sort of doing a circle. He goes, every time he told us to go straight, every time I was trying to go straight, he would start turning a circle, right? Isn't that what he said? <sighs> he didn't get it. I'm up. almost certain. But you always keep it in like a round. Awesome. But the point is, is it wasn't working because every time I'd get us going straight, he would start Mike, going in a circle. He would start going in a circle. The yeah, thing he just said you're supposed to do. Alexis He's crazy. In circle. And then this one. I mean, is he going to make is where he makes it with his mom, Aaron Carter? I, I, I totally under when they bring up the fact that he didn't talk to him for two years or four years. I'm like, yeah, dude, do it. I'm surprised his he name. came back. I'd be fucking. I'd understand, dude. If he was never like, ah, this is kind of crazy. I didn't tell people this much, but I'm Corey Feldman's brother, and you're like, whoa. And they go, oh, okay, I see it now. Yeah, look yeah. At that what you're like if Corey Feldman didn't have like jerk off. He goes, I know, stuff. I know. I gave him so many shots. <laughs> What's this one, Christine? That's where they, they're talking about the cards. The next one is where he thinks he's pinned as the bad guy. Do that one. Yeah. There's a minute. No, Damn. no, come on. We were just talking about you. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Alexis has always been sensitive to getting called out at boot camp. I didn't lie. I'm going to tell you why I didn't lie. And to say that I was, what I was doing is fake is so wrong. I'm participating. And after the Carter trash talk... It's only a matter of time before she runs straight to the person who is just as sensitive as she is. Some people in there are saying that you are not yeah. taking full that's advantage. They're of putting that in there. That's they're feeding that into their brains. Yeah. And that's making that's it bad. That's not bad not to feed your brain. Bad, like bad brain food, man. No brain food. You got to eat, and then you got to digest it so you can poop it out your thought. But bad brain food, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm eating bad brain food, man. Is that true, man? They want to make me the villain. We had a good time all the way up until I got tired of being pinned as the bad guy. And Thanks for standing up. I've done nothing to deserve being treated like that. I don't appreciate it. I came here with the purposes that we came here, which was to open the communication between me and my brother. It's worked for the most part. Like, yes, we did have a minor disagreement over putting the tent nothing together. Worth, like- tearing you down like that much for and this is my point this yeah, is why I, like, I am already there yeah. so you think I'm trying to be tough and put on a facade but I'm not <laughs> and I'm at peace and if you're not okay with me being at peace I love that that's it's one of my favorite thing that unstable people say when they're really fucked up and unstable they always go like this I'm at peace I'm doing great if you have a problem with that that is your problem and it means like oh no 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 that means you're fucking crazy I mean I'm not at peace I feel yeah. like my blood's fighting my skeleton all the time I swear to god I'm, you, you guys are lucky I, mean, I feel like there's no, <laughs> you guys are lucky nothing's I don't, cohesive in me at all you should always know that when I'm walking through the halls I would rather be screaming at the top of my lungs <laughs> yeah <laughs> does everybody hate me does everybody just, like me I, there's nothing at peace with me am I gonna get fired Do, are we gonna be successful never no once idea. never once have I been like I am zen nothing affects me you're a fucking psycho if that's the case my therapist said that to me today Today. He's like, you're mad. Good. It means you're feeling. He goes, there's people that don't feel. Feel do mad. Do you say it's weird for you to be mad at me? He goes, you shouldn't want to kiss and yell at Jerry. <laughs> it's confusing him. I don't know. Show him your dick or don't. <laughs> so many conflicting emotions. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> is that New York City? Yes, it is. Sweet sounds of. I always was... A- when I watched Big, uh, is it the obvious police coming for Corey Feldman? And he became uh, when he became when Big when he got big and then moved into that first hotel. Mm-hmm. That's what I always think of when I hear sirens in New York. Sounds of New York. I just want to eat an Oreo and cry that I'm big. What's more on this one, Christine? Just like I'm just tired of. The I've got to be honest. I came here with the best intentions, but I'm not going to be made to look stupid. You just need to stay calm today. You gotta stay chill. Boot campers, come to the boot camp room. What's up, motherfuckers? Boot camp has got a boot camp. You got a boot camp, you got a boot camp. Um, what else do you have? This is when they're in group together. And what? And it's really uh, just the expression on this. He starts, it's a lot of sad sacking and I'm the bad guy. Then they do the boat again, then it's him and Corey. And yeah, Kim. no need for the boat again. Let's see, let's see this. They do the boat stay the second time they do it. Topic. So it's one issue, one argument. 
Who used go away? We yeah, we used it. it. Go for a quarter. Okay, sure. Sometimes you talk about stuff that might be uncomfortable. It's easier to just go into another room because it's too painful to talk about. Sometimes I just want to say go away because, you know, it's hard to deal with somebody that is not understanding what you're trying to say. When you walk away, you violate rule number three. Stay in the game. Oh, man. When you leave the room, Dr. the issue is still right there. Damn, you good. <laughs> Stay in the game. You rob everybody of the chance to resolve the issue. Who used the shut up card? I did. What would have worked better uh, is what we call L-U-V. Listen, understand, and validate. And in this situation, the mirroring works great. You, know so, you want to punch the doctors in the face. Yeah. Oh, they're terrible. Talk. Listen. Look. That's what you want to do every Respect. time. Respect. Happiness. <laughs> Calm. Touch their face. Angry. What? When you touch someone's face, you're connecting to where the words come out from. You can manipulate through brainwaves. He starts doing crazy scientific things. He goes, thought control. Dream manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> Real man, cheery and candidate style stuff. I give you a code word to activate your train killer. This boy, this boy can marry you or bite your titty off, depending on the, the command I give. Jason Bourne. I created him. <laughs> Did I love that? Mobilized fell dog. <laughs> Do you guys want to watch Corey Feldman kill the senator? I say get rough and stuff in my Afro puff. This motherfucker kill a president. <laughs> Snickerdoodle. And then one of them starts getting naked. Snickerdoodle. I love the thought that this entire show, they've just been Manchurian candidate. You know? <laughs> and what you don't know is at night, we put a heavy, heavy sedative in most of their food. <laughs> at nighttime, they just they say the word, and then the whole kid, there's a night vision of the whole kid just walking around like living as chickens for fucking 12 hours. They're doing a night. like a fucking terrorist course where they go yeah. over things and crawl through mud. Why are we outside? What I've done is created a terror cell that <laughs> acti activates through me and Dr. V's spoken words. During the day, mild-mannered, obnoxious celebrities. But at, at night, night, trained killers. <laughs> Shiite assassins. <laughs> I'm talking about jihad warriors. <laughs> trained killers. Killers. Some of the best. I was like, beep, beep. Doing I didn't it. get to do Winnie the Pooh on self doing it here by yourself is not going to happen. Dude, Winnie the Pooh and then Macho <laughs> Man. That's bananas. If Rodney Danger Fire your agent, dude. If that's Rodney crazy. Dan two things to not get called uh, in for. Oh, I found out what they do. They don't do scale. Uh, they don't do union. And they you have to be in L.A. You have to be in L.A. They do it in a week. So they're like, they write the joke. Who's and they're doing within, Denver? No. They make it in South Park Studios is in L.A. I don't yell. Huh? Where are we at, Christine? we got a few more minutes here. This is Aaron and Corey in the kitchen at the end of the episode. Just the two crazies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy and off, barking at each other? It's not barking at each other. It's... Been through a lot, man. I'm just like, oh, you could even be alive right now. You don't understand. I do. I do. So, I, I think that Nash. what bothers Aaron is the stigma of my celebrity. And I know all about that. You guys woke us up last night because you wanted a pillow that we didn't know we had. You not hear the first Things that I said. No, he did not hear me. You were going to win. I knew that was a This was pretty much all his fault and all his doing, and I had nothing to do with it. I'm just not here to place blame on anybody, man. I'm just, I just need to do that. Right. I wasn't listening. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that we were like a complete mess and we should have been blamed for everything, and that's what they were doing. Bro, it's every time I'm the one that's the bad guy. I'm the one in jail. I'm the one getting shot. I'm the one who has to see my brother dead because of my responsibility. Da, 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 da. It's just all on me, all on me, all on me, all on me. <laughs> well, I think I know who that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Michael Jackson. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, Corey doesn't uh, have that much respect for his younger brother and for the things that he's accomplished without having to follow Corey's footsteps. Yeah, I was mad. I was mad at you last night. I've worked so hard just to keep this thing together. Don't make me go there. Don't make me unravel what I've worked so hard for. I have control over him. Corey, tonight. His mind is my mind. Meld it. You know, he's kind of making it about himself. And I'm starting to lose my patience yeah. with uh, people's personas. Like, and yeah. take masks off. Like, be For real. sure. I came to this show to heal my relationship with my mother. I say that to White Lou all the time. I say, take the mask off. I want to see the real White take Lou Whitsky. off that mask. Stop it. Your persona. 
Your emotion made you angry. Yeah. It did. It yeah, strongly it, it, it did. did. You didn't know who to be angry Why at. Is it no, you're like, oh, maybe, maybe it is Corey I need to be angry at. Yeah. Maybe he's not owning his. Dude, don't judge me based on what somebody whispers in your. I want you to be real. Oh. I'm not here to play. Oh. Like, take care of business. Oh! Wait, go back. Go back. What a fucking. That's the best acting he's done in fucking 20 years. Hit it. Yeah. Your emotion made you angry. Yeah, but don't. It did. It, yeah, it, it, it did. You didn't know who to be angry at. No, but you're like, I maybe maybe it is Corey. I need to be angry at. Yeah. Maybe he's not owning his. Yeah. Dude, don't judge me based on what some right here. person here. I want you to be real. I'm not here to play. I'm here to like take care of business. TCB ever said that? Ever said that in your life? And I really from this episode just. One little quick thing of Corey listing his accomplishments. And then, we, and then I want you to keep the thing after the apology thing. I have that, yeah. Okay. But this is just, That's fine. again. <laughs> Let's, you can give us a little piece. There was a plethora of negative memories of my childhood that came rushing to me that unfortunately I've had to relive quite a few times, which includes writing my autobiography, two films, TV movie, a feature film, audio book. So, I mean, I've literally been going through these stories repeatedly on a pretty regular basis for the past several years. First up, the positive message. Yeah. He's just like, and if you were wondering. I, I, Choreography is available on Amazon Prime. <laughs> yeah, he really pushes it. We'll, we'll save the thing with the kids for uh, next uh, next Lost Tapes that we, that we were able to do together. Yeah. And that was uh, Radar Love again. Uh, Bring you a Radar Love. Uh, everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving. You don't have to take that burden. You gotta let it go. Wasn't. So do you... It's not like it's your fault. It's not your fault either. But that said, I'm glad that you've chosen to take some responsibility.